Hey friends, I'm back today with a video that is like long overdue and only part of it is long overdue, but when I say it's overdue, I mean like I got this stuff last year. I've been using it for a really long time and I am just now talking about it with you guys, which is highly dissatisfying to me. So the brand that we are talking about is Lunar Beauty and I absolutely love them and I have a few different things here. Number one, I have their brand new blush palette. This is the Nude Prism Blush and oh my goodness gracious, the packaging, the packaging, it is so good. We're gonna get back to it though. We're going to go through each thing one at a time. The other thing we're going to be talking about today is the Outer Dimension, and this is the face palette that he came up with. This had some mixed opinions, and I think mine is totally the opposite. So I can't wait to share that with you guys. I do have some of his lip products that he had come out with around that time as well. And then I have the brush set, which is in my son's brush holder that he made me, and I still absolutely love it. And he's holding all of my Lunar Beauty brushes right now. So we're going to go through everything one at a time. Let's start with the blush palette. So this little beauty right here, which I'm going to try and <laughs> fix as we go along was $35 and this is the packaging. Lunar Beauty just nails it when it comes to packaging. They just do a thing and I think these are Sakura Blossoms or maybe Cherry Blossoms on it. Gorgeous. Love it. I, I'm all about that vibe but this is even better. So I'm really into the moon. If you guys don't know that, now you do. I am obsessed with the moon. Like every time it is out, I am outside creeping on it. I'm one of those people. Um, and so when I saw this packaging, I knew, <laughs> I knew either way I was going to be picking this up. Now, the only thing I'll say about this packaging is it is extremely hard to get this blush palette out because of the raised up moon. Now, I still like it. I just wish the box would have been maybe a smidge bigger just, just because my little baby fingers can't pull stuff out. So the packaging on this again is just gorgeous. This is a cruelty free blush palette and then when you open it up this is the color story I I'm here to tell you guys I love it I didn't like it I loved it I think they did a really really good job I do have the other blush palette kind of down and over there I would grab it but but I'm a little dizzy from the days of sickness so we're just gonna go ahead and look at this one today and I, I'm telling you this one right here this shade reminds me of a dupe for one of the Pat McGrath blushes that are out. I, I have it somewhere. You know what? In an upcoming, maybe if I get a chance, I will try and find that blush and I'll do a side-by-side -side swatch of this on my Instagram or something. Uh, but as far as the colors here go, I definitely think there's a nice range of light to deep. It's gorgeous. I really like it. I think he did a fantastic job. And let me just say the formulation is it's it's great there is definitely nothing to be disappointed with so then moving on to the glosses now these are normally $17 oh I've got a gloss and a liquid lipstick and this is normally $18 but you can get this whole bundle for $55 I actually got the whole outer dimension bundle when it came out and <laughs> and then I was really sad because they were in the mystery boxes and it went half off not long after I bought it so I was like dang it uh, but in any case these are the shades so this one right here is perfection this is a gorgeous kind of cool tone kind of pinkish gray shade really like it and it's right in line with the rest of his liquid lipsticks fantastic formula definitely really nice i it's one of my favorite liquid lipstick formulas actually um and then there were three glosses there was a pure clear and this was the shade crystal kiss which I've kind of muddied because I always put it over nudes. Good job. <laughs> and then this is the shade Divine, and it's kind of a pink glitter. Gorgeous. And then there was a purple, and this was Jewel. Now, I have swatched all of these, and I may swatch them on my arm for you, but I have lip swatched all of them for you guys, so you'll be able to see those. Then, let's talk about the brushes and my, my son's beautiful brush holder that he made me. I'm still, like, geeking out over this. I think it's precious. I'm normally not a fan of synthetic brushes. That's just kind of where I sit and I'm going to tell you what I think about each one of these so these brushes if you get the whole set and there's a bag it's $65 and I had the bag I don't know where I put it I'm so sorry but it's cute it's the normal black lunar beauty bag and I think that they I really enjoy it this guy right here okay this is the normal I'm just going to compare them this is the normal like uh powder brush that I use and I think because this has more of a flat kind of top I like it better than this but I'm going to keep trying to use it and see if I can find an application that I like it for. I think for maybe body makeup, this might be a real winner. But as far as my face, I like something a little flatter. I, that's a personal preference type of thing. Of course, the actual brush itself, I love, 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 love. It is gorgeous. Like, I love the ombre. That's kind of my jam. This little guy right here I've actually been using for contour, and I've really enjoyed it. I think it works pretty darn well. This one I kind of like for contouring or adding some of that lighter powder that goes right here. And this I've used for a couple different things. I've used it for contour. I've used it for highlight. You could use it either way. I I guess my thing is I hate double-ended brushes because I always get one end dirty. Like this, this end is dirty from sitting in the bottom of that. And it kind of just, 
It's a personal thing. I know it's a very random thing to feel that way about. Now I've used this for foundation a few times and I don't know if it's the foundation or if it's the brush, but I'm just not, I'm lukewarm on it. I'm not like in love with it and I don't hate it. I definitely want to use it some more. For instance, my favorite for foundation, yeah, I've got a couple. Brush wise would probably be these two. This one's Melt and it's not, a, it's not a foundation brush, ironically. I don't even know what this is called. This was in their liquid highlight kit. This one right here is from Manisa and this is the Pinnacle Foundation Brush. Both are really, really good and this is a little, well, I feel like this is a little more densely packed than this one. So maybe I like it a little bit less firm. I don't know. I, but this one's kind of, this one's kind of dense too. But it's, again, maybe it's, maybe it's the shaping. I really, really like a flat, flatter surface. I think I'm seeing a pattern here. Uh, but in any case, the next one that I have here, this is supposed to be a blush brush. And truthfully, I did not like it for blush. I mean, maybe if I spread it out, like smash it down on a paper or a towel for a while, then it would be dispersed enough that I would like it for blush. But I think it's decent for highlight. I think it's good for contour. And then this guy right here also... I would say it's good for contour. You could even use it for highlight, but I like this the best for the blush. And this is the LBF5. And then the last one that I have is LBF6, and this is definitely a highlight brush all day. They work really good. So only a few of them I would say I was a little like lukewarm on, but the rest I thought did really, really well. Uh, now on to the last thing, which I've heard a lot of people have like not very good opinions of for multiple reasons that I can kind of understand to a point. But I'm going to be honest with you, the quality, the versatility, I, I have nothing but good things to say about it personally. So this is the Outer Dimension packaging. This is for the face, I'm going to call it face palette, yeah. This is for the Outer Dimension face palette, and this is the packaging, really cute, definitely kind of uh, ethereal, if you will. And then when you get the palette itself, this is what it looks like. Now, <laughs> I love the moon. This is a little off-putting. The face on it is a little off-putting to me. But I do like the holographic detail to it. I, I don't hate that it's round. That doesn't bother me. I do prefer like a square one just because I find it easier to hold and open. Uh, this is the inside. And a lot of people were upset because it ranged so light to so dark. They were just like, I'm not going to use a lot of these colors. How can I make this work for my skin? But I kind of think it was genius in all reality. I understand where he's coming from where it's hard as a smaller brand to purchase a lot of shades because what if what if one skin tone doesn't buy a bunch of them? I think it would be very, very difficult to do that type of thing. So I kind of get why he did this. And to be honest with you, I've used every single shade, every single shade in this multiple times. So for instance, I can use this deepest shade. Obviously I don't go gung ho, although you can use it on your eyes. It's eye safe. That's so really, this is like a perfect nude palette as well. I like to mix these two shades and maybe a little bit of this and then I kind of contour up or I can use this lightest shade and kind of mix in between and create a perfect powder. I'm telling you, the coverage, the finish, oh my gosh, the touch, the feel of cotton, the fabric of our lives, that's this palette. Like, it really is. So I really feel very differently about it than a lot of others do. You've got a beautiful bronze shade and I feel like it was really smart. Like, any skin tone can dip into this and mix up their perfect tones. I like it. I think he did a great job. Manny, I ain't mad at it. That's all I'm saying. So for me, I think everything was a win. Everything that I purchased, I'm really happy with. The glosses, I love the glosses. Like, but that blush palette, so good. And out of everything, I probably would have gone back and not purchased the brushes. But I'm shallow, and I do like the way that they look. So with all of that being said, I'm going to do some swatches for you guys, and then I'm going to come back at the very end with my final thoughts so you already know what they are.
All right, you guys, I'm back and I want to give you my final thoughts. You guys kind of already know what I've got going on, so I'm going to try to speed review through these for you. So the first thing is first is this beautiful, as I hold this upside down, beautiful nude prism blush palette. And it was only $35, well worth every single penny in my opinion. This packaging is phenomenal. I really love all this packaging. It is gorgeous, except for the creepy face on the moon, but we're, we're not there yet. <laughs> In any case, when you open this up, to me, this is a beautiful range of shades and definitely different enough from the original that I don't feel like I'm doubling up, if that makes any sense. This one right here, I am like 90% sure is a, is a dupe for Pat McGrath, one of her blushes. So the cost of one of her blushes, you can buy this palette and call it a day and try the rest of them. Mix them together, mix and match. I constantly love mixing and matching colors. That's kind of my favorite thing to do. If you like any of the colors in this it is well worth it the quality is fantastic the coverage I mean I'm really happy with the way this turned out and I am not wearing a foundation I'm happy with right now so let me just say that to you uh, the other thing that we're gonna move into is the outer dimension oh I'm gonna drop some stuff the outer dimension face palette and this is the outer packaging the outer dimension outer packaging it's beautiful it's really pretty and then when you go to the palette itself I love the holographic detail to it and I do like kind of like this outer rim but the face is creepy. <laughs> I feel like this when I picture the nightmares from underneath my bed, this is the shit I'm this is the shit I'm seeing with my eyes closed. But it is still cool. I I I dig that kind of celestial vibe and I do like that it's round, but I would have preferred it square. I I'm sorry. I know contradictions there they are for you. Open it up. There's a huge mirror at the top and then these are all the colors within. And I know a lot of people were not happy because there was such a huge range and they're like I'm not even going to get use out of this or that. But these are all eye safe, so you have the perfect nude palette on the go. You could literally take only this and, and get away with doing all of your makeup, in my opinion. Like, this has a really good coverage. I've actually used this alone as foundation, a powder foundation, and it worked really, really well. I kind of just mixed a few shades, and I made my perfect foundation. I've used a mix of all of these to create different contour shades. Like, I've used the deepest shade, and I I'm telling you what, like, I know a lot of people were against it, but your girl's for it, so I'm here for it. I definitely think this is well worth the money. This is only for $49 and to me I think it's a win. Then moving to the lip bundle you get one liquid lipstick and you get three lip glosses. It was $55. This is the shade Perfection. I love it. It is gorgeous. It is right in line with the rest of his liquid lipsticks which I really really enjoy. They're matte without being kind of sticky and but they're also not so dry that you're just annoyed with them. And then these lip glosses, I'm telling you what, the smell, the texture, it is just so beautiful. Uh, there was a gorgeous purple shade, which for Halloween, I'm going to I'm gonna utilize the shit out of this. And then this gorgeous pink sparkly shade, I, I use this frequently. And then there's the clear, and I, I've kind of, I've kind of ruined it with using it over other colors, but that's the nature of clear gloss. The very last thing I got to try out were all the face brushes, the whole set with the bag, which I no longer have, I don't know where the hell it is, <laughs> was $65. And for the most part, I think it is 100% worth it. I usually don't like synthetic brushes to even like any of them, I'm very surprised, but I think he did a great job. As far as the brushes themselves, like I love the ombre, I think it is so gorgeous. It, these are well made, they don't feel cheap at all. The actual bristles are very soft, but not so soft that you're going, great, I'm losing the product. Like, I love Wayne Goss brushes, but occasionally I feel like they're too soft, if that makes any sense. Like, they're not going to get anything done because it's just, feels nice on your skin, but not doing a damn thing. Um, but... A few of these are just not my favorite, personally, I talked about it in the beginning. I'm not crazy about double-ended brushes, personally, it's just, I don't, I don't like it. <laughs> I just don't like, I don't like storing one of them at the bottom like that, because then you get like a bent brush, and that just kind of, it just, it just kind of irks me. That's just a personal thing. But as far as quality, I think they're really good. And if you're looking to get some affordable face brushes, I, I would look no further. For my brush holder, it was made by my son, and I give it a 10 out of 10. In any case, I really hope that this video was helpful to you guys, even though I am like way, way late on the majority of this. I think it's okay to talk about stuff because I, I personally feel like I want to use the things I love the most in my collection. And these are definitely some of those, like especially that face palette. I know people were like, eh, about it, but quality wise it's one of the ones I use constantly so in any case I hope this video was helpful to you guys if it was maybe consider subscribing and I hope that everybody is staying safe and healthy and I'll see you guys in the next one bye